It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Warning. Warning. Nobody asked for this. Warning. Warning. You know, I'm not a fortune teller. By any means. But if someone goes up to me and asks me, Will Doom Film be in PvZ 2? I would look at them straight in the eye and I'd tell them, Yes. Doom Shroom will be in PvZ 2. Who would be surprised? After Skatey Shroom, anyone from the first game could be added. I was fully waiting for Planter to be added, even if it doesn't make any sense for him to be in the game. And now, after many videos that came out before mine that talk about this exact same topic, but I've been too lazy, it finally came out, and I get to finally talk about it. If you guys watched my previous video, you know I despise PvZ2 Scary Shroom and his design. It looks completely different from the other previous mushrooms. With Doom Shroom though, of course, he was already pretty different from the other mushrooms in the first game, so there's not really a comparison. What we could do though, is compare both the first game Doom Shroom and his second game design to see if it's an upgrade or a downgrade like Scary Shroom was. I did cheat a little bit, admittedly. That design is the first stage of the Doom Shroom, but the final design isn't any better. My biggest problem is the fact that we already have an established Doom Shroom PVZ2 design. The Boom Balloon Flowers plant food is Doom Shroom. And as you can see, both designs are completely different from one another, even though they're in the same game. I'll continue explaining the stupidity of Boom Balloon Flower and Doom Shroom and him as a new plant later. It's not just his design but his animation as well. The animation problem with the new PVZ2 plants is massive. His animation looks really ugly. It's it's too quick and lacks any sort of smoothing compared to other plants. Comparing his animation to the previous mushroom ones is like comparing gold to dirt. To explain the problem with the new plants, these three comments go in depth on why. Easing in animation is the process of gradually changing the speed of an animation to make it more natural and realistic. It's a transition method that was commonly used in the older plants animations, but now with the PopCap's original animators gone, it seems like the new animators didn't take this into consideration. Funny enough, there's a YouTube video by Leon Tries to Art that really showcases how great Doom Shroom could have been. Check it out, they also have one on Scary Shroom. Speaking of Scarity Shroom, one thing I'll give the new Doom Shroom design is that it's, at least it's a little better from Scarity Shroom's design. Though in my opinion, C Shroom's new animation and design is much better than both of them. C Shroom, in my opinion, is a valid design upgrade. Though, the idea of C Shroom and the other new PVZ1 plants really brings us to our next chapter in this video. Almost every plant in Plants vs Zombies 2 has a reason or point of it. Spike weeds and spike rocks is sure rolling objects in pirate seas. Lightning reed helps kill chickens and weasels. Plants like pepper pot or fire pea shooter are for cold levels. Sun shroom and puff shroom are to help with dark ages' lack of sun drops. A lot of these plants are of course non-premium plants, but even some premium plants can be considered useful or worth it as well. Soybean pod, ice bloom, you know, there are many examples of useful premium plants but these newer plants ice shroom galilee pea scaredy shroom sea shroom doom shroom these are a lot of shrooms they don't really have a purpose like mentioned in my video before the only purpose i can possibly think about is nostalgia these plants are coming out way too late in a way they have expired by now if you're gonna release these plants they should have came out years ago rather than now there are too many alternatives that are pretty much better than these newer plants what doesn't help is the fact that these plants mechanics were pretty much changed completely to the point where frankly they're not even the same plant from the first game just in design and name what's the point of adding the plant in the game if its mechanic isn't even going to be similar don't get me wrong, I understand why they changed them. I mean, Ice Bloom is pretty much Ice Shroom's replacement, and Doom Shroom seems like it went from an instant plant to a plant that stays on the lawn. But at that point, just make them new plants, no? 
So I'm going to be making predictions on what's next in this nostalgia bait pattern that they're up to. To start off, it seems like they're having a trend of adding previous mushrooms into the game now. So I predict that Gloom Shroom will be added next. It's inevitable. It started with Scary Shroom, Ice Shroom, Sea Shroom, then Doom Shroom. It's gotta be Gloom Shroom. Could technically be Gold Magnet, but I completely doubt that. That would just be the most useless plant ever. He's already pretty useless in my opinion in Plant vs Zombies 1. A plant that collects pieces of money for you? Wow, very innovative. So I'd be genuinely shocked if Gold Magnet's in the game. Cattail and Cop Cannon are my other top contenders. They're both already in the Chinese version, but that doesn't necessarily mean they'll be in the International Edition. They probably won't have the Zane and Zions from the Chinese version anyways. Honestly, in those versions, I don't really understand why the cat tail has a blue tail or why Cobb Cannon has like extra parts. But you know what? I kind of like both designs nonetheless. So I hope they either reuse the designs or at least take inspiration from them. I wouldn't be surprised if they use the same animations since the new PVC2 plants lately literally look like they came from the Chinese version. On an unrelated note, I do have predictions on plants that in my opinion, 100% will not be in the game. Lantern, Coffee Bean, Flower Pot, and Umbrella Leaf will 100%, I repeat, 100% not be in the game. If they are, I would genuinely crash out. So I suppose it's very obvious since these four plants are kind of meant to be strictly incorporated in the world you get them in. Like the Plantern is helping with fog, Coffee Bean's meant for the sleeping mushrooms, but for some reason the PVC2 mushrooms work in daytime, so there's no point. The Flower Pot is obviously for roof levels, and the umbrella leaf is to stop catapult zombies or bungee zombies. So, that's really it about me ranting about a kid's game about plants fighting zombies for 7 minutes. Um, subscribe, like, dislike, comment, whatever you guys want really. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.